So THD um, is one of the treatment options that we use to surgically treat piles. It stands for transanal hemorrhoidal de-arterialization. And it is one of the techniques where we do not excise the hemorrhoids like in conventional surgery where we used to cut the hemorrhoids. So this is one of the techniques where we do not do any excision of the hemorrhoid, but treat it still surgically. Okay, so this is a procedure which is often needed by patients who are having hemorrhoidal symptoms. Uh, for example, patients uh, could be having um, bleeding because of hemorrhoids. They could be having a prolapsing hemorrhoids. Uh, sometimes the hemorrhoids can thrombose and become painful. And uh, at times, patients also complain of some itching and discharge around the hemorrhoidal area. And uh, this technique can address all of these symptoms, especially the bleeding. Uh, it's quite effective in treating the bleeding uh, because it cuts off the blood supply to the hemorrhoids. So um, anyone with any hemorrhoidal symptoms can be considered for this procedure. However, um, the best, of course, is to discuss this with the specialist and then decide whether this is the right option to use for the kind of symptoms the patients are having. So um, it's a very successful treatment option, um, but uh, it, it depends what we are considering success. So for example, if uh, a patient is having a bleeding because of hemorrhoids, uh, then this is a very successful method to treat hemorrhoids because it, as I said, it stops the, the blood supply of the hemorrhoids. So it definitely is very successful in treating bleeding. Uh, if you look at other symptoms like the prolapsing hemorrhoids, again, it's quite good. But when you compare this technique with the conventional technique where we excise the hemorrhoids, it uh, falls slightly short um, because uh, it is not, uh, the literature does not report it as successful in treating prolapse as the conventional excisional surgery. So I think it, the success of this technique depends upon what symptoms the patient is having and also upon the experience of the surgeons and, and also what exactly is the expectation of the patient. Okay, it's very um, uh, uh, simple uh, procedure if you consider uh, any surgical technique to be simple. Um, this procedure involves using a specialized instrument, which is a proctoscope. It is attached with a, another a specialized uh, instrument called a Doppler. So with this, what we do is we identify the blood supply of the hemorrhoids. So the blood supply that is coming into the hemorrhoids is identified. And then using a stitch, we ligate or close off the blood supply to the hemorrhoids. So that's the first step of this procedure. And then the next step is uh, the prolapsing hemorrhoids that are coming out. Again, using a different stitch can be pushed back up. So in summary, this procedure will decrease the blood flow into the hemorrhoids and it will push the hemorrhoids back up without requiring any excision or cutting off the hemorrhoids. So it maintains the physiology but also helps with the symptoms. So THD um, has a, a few advantages. It uh, is number one, less painful when you compare it to conventional excisional hemorrhoid surgery. Uh, the patients therefore are often back to their normal routines and back to their work much quicker when you compare it with the excisional hemorrhoidal surgery. Uh, which is often more painful. Um, the other advantage is that the physiology is still maintained. So it is uh, a technique where we don't take away any, any tissue or cut away any tissue from the body. Uh, the disadvantage is that when we compare this technique with the conventional techniques, 
where we excise the hemorrhoids, the recurrence rates or, or prolapse rates are a bit higher when you compare it to the conventional surgery. So it has its pros and cons, but um, if we discuss these with the patient in detail uh, and see what exactly is the patient expectation and what we're looking for, um, then uh, this is a very useful technique. I have done uh, a lot of uh, these procedures and uh, uh, this is one of the uh, options that I will offer to my patients depending upon their symptoms and what they want with uh, the hemorrhoidal treatment. Um, and uh, if it comes to prolapse, I think this is probably one of the better techniques, especially with my experience. I'm happy that we can treat uh, even uh, very large prolapsing hemorrhoids.